Miles Teller was paid this ridiculous amount for whiplash? Miles Teller, an actor from the United States, is no stranger to being selected for roles in films that go on to win awards. Teller has appeared in many well-known films and is best known for his role as Reed Richards in the Marvel Cinematic Universe in 2015. He also co-starred with Jonah Hill in the comedy War Dogs, released in 2016. Because of this, we are taken aback when we learned how much money, or should we say how little money, the renowned actor made for playing the lead role in a film that won an Academy Award in 2014. The motion picture Whiplash was nominated for several several Academy Awards and won a few of them, including Best Sound Mixing, Best Film Editing, and even Best Supporting Actor for J.K. Simmons in his role as Terrence Fletcher. The teller's salary for his role in the film was only $8,000, even though it has a huge success. Although this is a pretty meager sum, it's more than he was paid when he started making waves in his acting career. Hello everyone and welcome to another video on our channel. In today's video, we're going to discuss Miles Teller was paid this ridiculous amount for whiplash. So stay tuned to find out. Now let's start our video. Miles Teller is currently experiencing a meteoric rise in popularity as a direct result of his interview with Esquire, which was read worldwide. In any case, apart from the whole dickish persona described in the pages, with which, by the way, the actor takes issue, we are learning a great deal about some of his earlier projects, most notably Whiplash. Even though the movie ended up being nominated for several Oscars, the film's lead actor only received a relatively modest amount of money for his work on the project. How low exactly can you go? $8,000. It's possible that to some people that seems like a lot, but considering the number of months of production time required for any feature film, it's pretty low. However, this is a significant increase from his pay when he started. 2010's Rabbit Hole was Teller's debut as a director of full-length motion pictures. Nicole Kidman and Aaron Eckhart played the role of a couple who suffered the loss of their son due to an accident in the movie. In this independent film, directed by John Cameron Mitchell, Teller portrays the role of a young man who is ultimately responsible for his suicide. Teller stated in an interview with Esquire that he was paid $5,000 for his work on the film. After a few years of movies had passed, he acted alongside Shailene Woodley in The Spectacular Now, and their combined salary was doubled to $7,000. If you're liking this content so far, please consider subscribing and liking this video. Now let's continue. Independent films often operate on smaller budgets, and all of these movies, including Whiplash, are considered to fall under that category. However, Teller gained something far more valuable than money due to these films credibility. Even though, according to the article in Esquire, the NYU graduate who just turned 28 years old is capable of giving off a dickish vibe at times. He is an exceptionally talented actor. Because of these films, he's now recognized as an up-and-coming talent in the Hollywood film industry. They also put him in a better position to play roles in larger franchises, such as Peter in the Divergent film series and Reed Richards or Mr. Fantastic in the most recent version of Fantastic Four. These movies, even though they do not adequately showcase his extensive range, are going to turn his name into a brand, and these are also going to earn him the big bucks that he needs to keep the lights on. This coming weekend, Teller will be seen in Fantastic Four, directed by Josh Trank, which will be released in theaters. His co-star, from Awkward Moment, Michael B. Jordan, will play Johnny Storm or Human Torch, and Jamie Bell will play Ben Grimm or The Thing. Kate Mara will play Sue Storm or Invisible Woman. Michael B. Jordan will play Johnny Storm or Human Torch. The film features younger versions of these characters as they attempt interdimensional travel, a trip that goes wrong and grants them their abilities. This is a nod to the Ultimates comic series, which inspired the film. They are taken into custody by the government to use them as weapons. However, when Victor Von Doom's transformation causes him to become power-hungry, they're forced to work together to combat him. Although this is not Teller's most impressive work to date, and according to opinions of the vast majority of film critics, it's not even a good film. The director does have have more promising projects on the horizon, and with any luck, increased pay for him in the future. Well, that's all for today's video. Tell us in the comment section how this video was. I hope that you found it interesting. If you want to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing for more, and don't forget to provide us with your valuable feedback. We'll see you in the following video with some more notable celebrities, facts, and stories. And until then, stay tuned.